Hello again, my beautiful people. I just uploaded my video for my EBCs of Fruits and Vegetables series, and I just uploaded the letter S for strawberries. So that will be coming out later today, so be watching out for that. But since I was just finished that video, up, uploading that video, I said, you know, I do have another message that I have to get out. So I just want to come up here and get it all done, right? Get it all done while the spirit is flowing within my heart. Now, let me tell you this. This is, this is a testimony. We all love to hear testimony, especially when that's our own testimony, right? Woo, we love testimonies. I love when I know that the divine creator God is working on my favor. I mean, he's working on my behalf. When the universe is, is aligned and, is, and, and sending out the things that, you know, he's blessing me. Because the universe loves gratitude. I mean, the universe loves gratitude. Now, let me tell you, this is, I'm going to tell you about this. I'm going to give you this testimony. It's super amazing. First, I'm going to start out with the video that I did on November 15th. In November 15th, I did this video. It was called, My Blessings is Here. It was a short, it was a short video. My blessing is here. And I'm talking about, you know, your blessings is right here, right now, in the year of 2021. But you've been set up for even greater blessings and abundance in the coming year, which is just a few steps away of 2022. And I did that video and I believe in my heart that, you know, I'm blessed. I'm blessed from the, from going out, coming in, sitting down, lying, I mean, whatever, sitting down, rising up, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed because I know, I know that he does not forget me. He, he does not come short of any of his promises to us. And, you know, we have to have that, that, that spirit of gratitude all the time. And I'm saying, when you give, that's what the Bible said, give, good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. You know what I'm saying? Give and it shall be given to you. The Bible teaches that. Give and it shall be given to you. But it, it don't tell us to go around and give and just say, that I'm expecting somebody to do something for you. No, you just give because it's, 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 it's who the Creator has created you to be. He created you for love and, and compassion toward mankind. Not sitting around saying, I'm doing this for you and I expect you to do that back for me. No. You give without expectations. You give without looking for anything. You just knowing that you're blessing someone else's life. You're setting someone else's life up for the greater, for the better. And that's what I do. I love giving because that's who I am. That's a part of my passion. My, that's of who the Creator created me to be. When I give, I don't want, I'm not looking for anything to come back. I don't even think about anything. I don't see I'm in plan. It, it's just what I know he placed within my heart. So I did that video uh, November 15th. My blessing is here. And it was so short, about maybe 50 seconds long, 56 seconds long. And uh, I didn't know that. I mean, I know what I spoke, but he is just amazing. I know he's setting me up for even greater abundance, or even greater wealth, even a better and a higher life that he, i am living at this moment he's setting me up for, for for my greatness my best version of whom he created me to be so then i went on and did a video and i was talking about i think it was last sunday last sunday i posted this video who doesn't like free and that was sunday november the 28th who doesn't like free i'm just putting out what the creator god's place in my heart so i'm doing these videos now, I did this video last Sunday, November 28, 2021. I did this video early in the morning. Now, let me, let, let, let's, let's listen to this testimony. I talked about who doesn't like free, because we all like free, especially when it, it does not hold any strings to us. Uh, coming back saying, well, I did this for you. Now it's time for you to pay up. No, I'm not that kind of free. No, no, do nothing for me if, if you got me hanging on a hook. <laughs> I don't want to be on your hook. I am in the, the divine timing and divine planning that what God has for me is for me. Not for what man saying you do for me. I, 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 no, I don't. But who doesn't like free when you know it's coming from the divine God, the higher power the creator of this universe? So I did that video early in the morning. When I did that video, I said, okay, I'm going to go out to the store and do a couple of, you know, some things on, on, on uh, shopping for my uh, fruits and vegetables series, which I did a rutabaga last week. So I had to go out and get the rutabaga. 
I went out and I got some more things. I did a little more shopping while I was in the store. And I was, you know, just going about picking up stuff. And I, and my, and I got to the register. I think it probably was about 50 some, about $50 or so of food that I had picked up. So I'm at the register, you know, I'm at this place called Publix. It's a grocery supermarket. It's a grocery store, supermarket. And I was in there and I went to the register to check out. And you, oh, you know, if Publix, Publix supermarket has this cash app that you can download the app to your phone. So when you go in, you can use the app to scan and then you can pay for your groceries without pulling out your debit cards or your credit cards or pulling out your uh, cash or pulling out your um, things that nature. You don't have to put out, you just, just scan the app and the app will pay for your food. Okay, so I get to the register, the, the cashier, she, um, she ringed up my food, got everything ready and she said, okay, it was like 50 some dollars. Okay, I took my phone, I had my apps on my phone, so I held it up to the scanner and I scanned it and it said, done. Done, that means that the process was done, that the uh, money was coming out of my account. Lo and behold, she stands there and she said, are you ready? I didn't get anything. I said, ma'am, the app said it's done. I turned around and said, look, it said done. But she said, I didn't get nothing. I said, but I scanned it. I don't want to scan it a second time. That means I'm paying twice. She said, but I didn't receive anything. A man walked up out of nowhere and he said, ma'am, I got this. Put it on me. He said, put it on me. I, 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 I was like speechless. Put it on me. I was like, wow, you know, put it on him. And I was now thanking him, thanking the universe. I'm like, the universe loves gratitude. I'm thanking, I'm just so thankful. So I just was so thankful. It, 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 that was a blessing, a free blessing. He paid for my groceries, about $50 of groceries. A stranger out of nowhere. But the divine, higher power God of the universe, he has a divine time and a plan for everything. And he will set you up in the right place with the right people. I mean, he, you, I mean, he will send them to wherever you are. They will find you. He paid for my groceries. And as I was thanking the man, I was saying, you know, I bless him and, you know, and all that. And thanking the universe, I heard the divine power of God speaking to me. That was a blessing. And I was thinking, like, I'm going to go home and, and go to my bank account. It's going to come out. My bank account probably no. That's your blessing. And it never came out. And it's been a week ago. Usually when you pay for public uh, things through your public app, it comes out the very same day. The first, the very first few seconds as you post it. So that was a blessing. Okay, that was that was Sunday. That happened Sunday after the my, my video I did. That happened Sunday. Monday I get up and go to work. Car didn't work. My car didn't turn over. Oh, the engine light came on. It was a situation was going on. And then it came up and said battery. I was like, oh my battery is gone. My battery is dead. So that was another thing I had to deal with. And I got up and I'm standing like, now I got to get to work. I'm on my way to the job and I'm out here, no transportation. Lo and behold, out of nowhere came this beautiful young lady and she worked it. And so, I mean, she was in the military and she was headed for her job and she said, you having situations. I said, my car is not turning over, it's not working. She said, no problem. She said, get in and I will take you to your job and I will drop you off. And I was like, you sure? She said, yeah, get in this car. So. My job was not very far, and as we was riding, she was asking me, because she, she was new, she just moved in probably about two weeks ago, and she was like, you know what, she said, I can come back after I get off work today and come back and help you. I got a charger in my house that I can jump in your car and see if I can get it started for you. So, lo and behold, you know, she be exchanging numbers, and she went on by her business, and I think that, okay, that was the end of that. I'll see her later this afternoon. As I get off of work and after she get off her job and then lo and behold, she calls me and she said, I'm coming past your job. I'm just, I have, I left my job and I was thinking about stopping in and picking you up, but I have already got a ride. And I was like, he's just keep running blessings and running me down, overtaking me. God is so good to destiny. Dr. Destiny is blessed. Blessed. When you give, people give back to you. Give. And it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shaking over. I'm telling people, it is running over. You better get up under the umbrella because the blessing is pouring down. So she came on in later and she went, went as I got to, well, I was already home. She said, come on down. I got the charger. So we we're out there trying to charge her. We couldn't charge it. And we tried. She didn't, I don't think she, she gave enough, enough uh, battery power to it to, to get a charge. 
And then another neighbor came in. She said, can I help? Because I got a Jeep and maybe my little stronger. You know, he just keeps sending people. He's just showing you the heart of people. He's showing you that he got people all around you set up to help you. You know, because you're always helping everybody else. You're always giving out so much of you and yourself and, and so much of, of your resources. You're constantly giving. Not expecting, but he knows my heart. He said, I got your back, so don't worry about it. So she tried to charge it. I don't think she put enough juice to it either. But it was just like a divine time set up. Show me what kind of real people. They got genuine people out there. Didn't get a start. And so she said, I'm going to ride down to the um, auto zone and see if they can come out here and help you. And she did. She called back. She said, no, they're not going to do it. I said, no problem. I'm going to call the tow tr truck in the morning. Call the tow truck. Call the tow truck on that next day, which was Tuesday. And I'm so thankful to those beautiful ladies that he sent in my path to help me. Show me that was real genuine people still out there that were caring, that was that, 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 that had a heart for humanity. And I appreciate them so much. And I don't know if they watched this video, but one name was uh, Angela and the other name was Abby. Abby and... <laughs> Abby and Angela both with A's, you know, they were angels, <laughs> and I'm thankful for them. But the tow truck came out Tuesday. He had, uh, you know, had a hard, long day, and he was saying, I'm going to try to get to you. Don't hold on. I'm going to try to get to you. But he had so much he was going on. And I guess he was pretty stressful by the time he got out here to me, which was several hours later than what he said he would. And so he came out kind of like, a little, little grumpy, but I didn't let that move me. I didn't let that upset me. I didn't get bitter. I didn't get harsh. I didn't get mean with him. I said, man, but I really need your help. I said, I need your help. I said, what you going to do? He said, I'm just going to put it up on the tow truck and tow it. I said, please don't do that. I said, please try. Try jumping it. Try. I said, are you going to do that? And I take it somewhere, they're going to charge me a harm and a leg. And I, and, and I believe with the inside of me, it can start. Well, I don't have all day. I was like, I know you don't. Please help me. So to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and he would exalt you in due time. Wow. So he said, okay. He calmed down. He said, he calmed down. He got the first charge out of his truck. He put it on mine. Ain't nothing happened. He said, well, it ain't really working. So I guess I'm just going to take it in. I said, man, please try. He said, okay, I got one more jumper cable. I said, well, take, do that. Just one more. Because I didn't give up, and I didn't lose my... My disposition become ugly because he was irritable. He was I ain't ate nothing. I'm tired. I've been running all day. I was like, I understand that. But I need you to help me. So he said, okay, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna go get the second one. He put it on. He, he rolled up his truck. He said, get inside and see what's happening. The little dashers, this the in the dashboard started moving. He said, Oh, we got something. I said, Yes, we got something. He said, move, let me get in. He cranked it up. He, he started doing it and it cranked up. See, you don't give up. I don't, you don't act ugly. You just, just humble yourself. Show them that, hey, you know, I know you're upset. I'm so sorry that you had a hard day. I'm so sorry that you're hungry, but I need you to help me. And he said, it's, it started. He said, tell you what, anytime I see your phone number pop up, I'm going to remember you. I'm going to call you Pinnacle Destiny. I'm going to call you. He said, I'm always going to come running to you. I'm like, thank you. So he said, get in and you take this car to the first place that you know and you get that service done, okay? And he looked at me, he said, come here. He said, I'm gonna charge you nothing. Free, people, I'm free. Blessings just keep pouring in, he said, free. He said, I'm not charging you for anything. I just want you to get in that car and drive and don't stop and don't cut it off when you get there. On my way there, I got a phone call from him. He said, did you make it? I said, I'm just pulling into the, to the repair shop now. He said, good. He said, I know people there. Tell them I sent you. I said, well, thank you. I will. I will mention your name. And they said they knew him. So that was a blessing. Got there. They put my charger on the charging thing. They said, your battery is totally absolutely dead. He said, it's gone. I said, okay, well, fix me up. I need the best battery you got. I need to get back on the road. So he got out there and found me a battery that matched the battery in my car. He said, okay, you know what? Here you go, $179. I was like, okay, it's a good battery. Was it the warranty? You know, blah, blah, blah. Went through all that. He came back. He said, you know what? I'm going to charge $150 for it. Free. <laughs> Blessings 
kept coming, 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 coming. He said, free. He said, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you only $150 for this battery. I'm gonna put it in. And he stayed with me. They did all my little work, little other stuff they did. They checked my car, they checked around my tires, they put air, they did everything. Well, free. All that was free. They did little inspections on my car. All that was free. But my battery was $150 instead of $179. That was another free thing. I'm so thankful. This is how the universe works. When you give gratitude, when you show a, a kind heart to humanity, when you give out of your heart expecting nothing from anyone, when you show love and when you show genuinity, when you show God's people that they matter, that they important, and you don't expect anything in return, you just go on in life because you're looking for the next person to bless, not to receive anything, but to give. Because you have that spirit within you of giving, He gives back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking. I mean, shaking. I mean, running over, shaking together and running over. He will find people come around and just drop all these blessings. My blessings are here. My blessings are here. My free blessings are here. And it set me up for the abundance of the year of 2022. And I want you to get that. One more thing I want to tell you. The very next day, which was on a Wednesday, I came into work. I work, like I said, I am a... Uh, I work, I work with children a lot of times too because I am a uh, life coach for children. I do empowerment, helping kids, and I work with uh, di disability kids, kids that have, you know, a hard time of learning, coping with behavioral problems. Uh, the parents, you know, you know, I work with them and I have close knit relationships with the parents as well. So my uh, assistant told me, Oh, when the parents were looking for you, and I was like, really? Yeah, that was Wednesday. I was like, well, I was already gone. And the girl, because I had to take him a call. She came in the next day. She said, Ms. Walker. She said, Miss Destiny, Dr. Destiny Rose. She said, I got something for you. I'm like, what is it? She handed me a gift card. And she said, I know I, you, you are all into even wholesome and healthy, and I want you to help my child to be able to maintain that kind of health that kind of health while she's at school because I know you've been doing this for my for my child and she gave me a gift card $25 she said go and and you buy all those things that you desire for being healthy she said this is for you I appreciate you the best teacher the best coach the best everything my child loves you and I really love you and I appreciate you $25 gift card free he's setting me up he's setting me up people he's setting me up so all this happened this is just a little story a testimony this is just sharing you when you just go around loving God's people go around here just just putting yourself in a place where you want to help humanity that you want to help people that you want to be there to to just just to love people and not sitting around handing holding your hand out and saying what well, you gonna drop in my hand what you gonna give me back no no I don't think about that at all my heart is to give. And he knows that. The universe knows the gratitude. Look, I humble myself in that man. I said, please, just, I understand your problem. I understand you had a hard day. But I need you. I need you. I need you to help me. I need you to be patient with me just to help me get through this. I don't need you to just throw my car up on the toe and just hold it somewhere. It's going to cost me a lot of money. So he said, okay, I will. But that's what he does. And I just want to share those stories. Like I said, he gives me the information, the knowledge, he's giving me the experiences, giving me stories to share. Those videos that I did prior to all that, it was setting me up for what has just really happened this whole week. And I'm so grateful and thankful for that. So my free blessings are setting me up for the greater and the greatest abundance in the year of 2022. Change your mindset. Start thinking positive. Start going out there looking for people that you can bless and start looking for, start looking around for people to come in and bless you all the time. Go out there and give something. Go out there and, and create something for somebody else's life to make it better. Go out there and love on some people. And when people come back at you and want to slash you and get angry and upset with you, love on them. Show them and say, man, but I need you. Ma'am, I need you. I need your assistance. I need your help. Keep speaking life, kindness, and love. I have had blessings come after blessings and after blessings. And, and, you know, I can go on forever. But this happened all this week. I have been set up for my blessings. I'm going to... This is my testimony. This is my story. And I want to share with you guys. Just the whole, the whole uh, stories that, that I'm trying to tell you. Just be loving. Be kind. Be genuine. Love the way God loves. 
continue. Just be your genuine self. I mean, you can. I mean, I know life upsets us sometimes, but it's how you. It's how you decide that how you want to cope with it. You don't have to be ugly. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to give just saying I'm giving because somebody got to give back to me. No, you give because that's the, that's the law of the universe. The law of the universe teaches us to give. The universe loves gratitude. And I'm out. So I suggest I'm going to see you guys at the next video. Free. Get ready for the year of 2022. If your mindset is geared and you're ready to, to get those blessings, to get everything that you know you so desire, everything that you so ever dream of, that you have worked so hard at, you have given yourself faith and diligence to, and not expecting that somebody's going to pour something on you, but because you gave with the genuality that you can help another soul then you're getting ready to get set up for the best blessings in your life in the year of 2022. You got to believe that your mindset has to change to be able to receive those things. Dr. Destin's testimony, and I hope that this empowers someone, this encourages someone, and this has helped someone. My car's up running. I got money that has been poured into my bank account. I got money to set up for that I've been given to for my groceries. I got a free uh, tow work that I hadn't even had to pay for. I mean, I just got blessings. I the blessings because I'm a giver. I am a true giver. I am a child of the Most High, and I give according to the way He has set in my heart to give. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Namaste, lovely people. My free blessings are here. They are happening, and they're going to keep falling right on over into the year of 2022. I'm being set up for the greatest abundance of my life. You can do the same, and you can be set up as well. Change your mindset. Get ready, because He is about to pour out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive.